Sue Threckle claims AZT killed her husband Bob, not AIDS. He was a haemophiliac who contracted the HIV virus, but she alleges it was only when Bob started using the drug that his health deteriorated. Now, for the sake of their son, she wants answers. He said, I didn't kiss Daddy goodbye. You took him away from me before I kissed him goodbye. Now I want some answers. I want to be able to turn around to this child and explain why. And today, Mrs. Threckle's lawyers issued a writ against AZT's manufacturer's welcome. It's the information uh, uh, that scientists around the world have developed, a lot of which is presently still confidential, needs to be out in the open so that uh, doctors can better decide on treatment for uh, HIV-positive people. The manufacturers welcome say they will defend this action vigorously. And other patients who've seen the new Concord trial results say earlier doubts about AZT may be premature. The Concord does not show that AZT does not work. Being the first of its kind, Sue Threckle's case will now be watched closely around the world by scientists and patients alike. Eric McInnes, ITN, at the High Court in Liverpool.